to my channel. My name is Sarah. Day. I'm with my husband because yes, we are pregnant. Today's topic is a husband and wife Q and A about pregnancy. I post on my IG. Follow me. Uh, so I asked you uh, to let me know if you had any questions for my hair almost attacked me. Any questions for? myself or my husband because sometimes a male perspective could be really interesting than always hearing like women talking about it okay we do all the job okay okay but we need to know like what our partner feels my husband his name is jamal and he's gonna be here today we're gonna answer some of your questions excited to give <laughs> some a1 advices to all the dads He's very wise. <laughs> the first questions you guys asked me was how far along are you? It's four months pregnant. We're due in April? Yes. Yes. Mid-April. So it might be a belly. How do you say belly in English? Please comment down below. What is the astrology sign of belly? Okay, it's French. The second question we had was, is it a boy or a girl? And what do you want? You wanna answer, maybe? Because it was your idea. <laughs> is it a boy or a girl? I don't know, but uh, whether it is a girl or a boy, I'll be very happy. But predicting it's gonna be a girl, but surprise oh yeah so it was his crazy idea he's the crazy one okay and he was like oh the second child let's not like find out it's gonna be a surprise like baby uh, simba like oh. it's like, gonna be fun this age of uh, technology we know everything all the time it's good to introduce some uh, some suspects gonna make like a gender prediction test uh, video together again so check out um, the video should be on soon is childbirth slash pregnancy as well is it traumatic for men like how did you experience it and is it because for the woman obviously it's traumatic because her body goes through so much during pregnancy and childbirth but how did you find the experience? It's, the it's people want to know. We want to know. It's definitely life changing and it's uh, all a matter of uh, if you want the child. If it is something that you want, want, you'll get prepared and you'll be excited to, to spend nine months taking care of uh, your baby mama so that uh, she's uh, at ease. Childbirth, it wasn't that traumatic. It wasn't like impressive. Uh, nature we're less and less uh, in touch with the nature because we don't hunt anymore we don't, we don't do we just sit on the couch and everything is uh, easy access effort to put out the baby it's very impressive uh, okay uh, I gained so much respect even more respect for you after that Aww, work you. you did humbling to see that so it's definitely impressive but it's not traumatic traumatic or shocking mm. no it's uh, yeah. it's the beauty shout out to all the baby moms did intimacy change in the couple or are you like are you guys still attracted the same to each other you didn't find that big of a change so it's good no overall it's uh, pretty much the same i didn't find any difference even though like I think like us like women we think a lot about our body changing and we think like oh my gosh it's a big deal but I think that men don't give that much attention to that if they really like appreciate you love you and see that you take care of yourself even if, as a woman if you're not like insecure all the time about your body then why would it change you know so if you're confident and you feel good about yourself I think it just reflects on everyone around you and even your spouse like men they don't men they don't look at details and things like that like us they just like it's a body yari, yari. Yeah, most of all i think it's a matter of uh, the story we tell ourselves about this period because you 
you can be comfortable but if you start saying oh I'm pregnant now so oh my body is changing I won't be as desirable as I was and this and that so you start creating your own movie in your head exactly so that I think most of the problem that occurs during this period are self story even the men sometimes Many many men think like oh we cannot you know it can be the uh, same like there's the a baby in there before in the bedroom yeah they're like oh I'm gonna poke the baby hurt or blah 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 those kind of myth but uh, not yeah. true yeah you just need to get out of your head and just do it just do, do it have usual. fun just do as usual of course at the end of the period the last trimester of course you're gonna make some minor adjustments but of course switching the Pose. <laughs> but that's it. That's a weird question. Did you ever taste breast milk? <laughs> the ultimate nectar the, the <laughs> quest that every man should undertake. Yo, guys, breast milk is so good. Mine tasted like soy milk, sweet kind of like. Yeah, there's milk coming out of me of course i'm gonna taste it like are you crazy how did you tell your family okay i told my husband first i made a video i'll link the video down below i have a whiteboard like a kid's whiteboard and you can like put um magnet letters so i wrote there i'm pregnant on the board and then i spill all the letters like upside down so it will be like an encrypted message and then I put it at the entrance and as soon as he came in home I was like oh my god baby like you have to see like Idris wrote something on the board he's such a genius like come look at it da, da, da. and I just put the camera on top of the board so we could see like his reaction and you'll see it's so funny and I think he was surprised were you surprised when I told yes you? very surprised really? it was fun to see the message, little, he was like, the little sentence, he was like, a uh, lot of letters, and at one point, yeah, you just focus there and catch the phrase. When is baby number three, and how many, like, do you guys want? I'm not talking. Attends, why is it so like that? What are you doing? No, at first. We, no, 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 he's lying. We were talking about our future and I was like, oh, I think I want like two or three kids. And I think it would be like two kids and then the third one would be like, oh, oops. I don't agree. Talking about the fourth one. So three and then, oops, four. Oh, someone's coming. <gasps> Someone is The monster is coming out of the cave. <laughs> Idris is here. Say hi. A boy or a girl? Boy. Boy. What would be your best advice for new parents? Be excited rather than being afraid. And uh, yeah, I think the rest will follow. Don't overthink it. Don't tell yourself, oh, I'm ready or I'm not ready or don't worry when the baby is there. Automatically, you will be ready. If you want that child, if that child is born out of love, everything else will follow. As, as long as you want that child, you will make the, automatically the necessary efforts. What I would say is that at the end it's so worth it. Look at, look at him. To end it, I would say just like follow your instincts. Both the mom and the dad have good instincts, so follow them and be a good team. So communicate and work with each other. It's not a competition, it's a teamwork. So that's it, you guys. Hey, that's your move, that's your move. And then you get the. That's it, you guys. Thanks for watching this video and meeting my family, my loved ones, mi amore. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like if you enjoyed oh. this video. Oh.
also comment if you have baby name suggestions because we're out of ideas and I would really love to hear your ideas. <laughs> Any uh, baby name suggestion would be appreciated because as you just heard, Ready it's... To rain. Oh hell no. Thank you for joining me, my hubby. You're welcome. See you soon. Bye. Peace out.